Hello. Um. So, it's a nice, cool, kind of rainy day. And, um, I was training this morning and uh, heading over to work. And as I was already dressed and getting ready to go to work, uh, my boss called me and told me I didn't have to come in, which is really nice. Um, so I'm home, um, doing a little thinking. I know it's been a while since my last update. Um, a lot has happened and not a lot has happened. It's, it's kind of in the middle. Um, I've definitely had a lot of realizations about Muay Thai and what I'm doing and how I want to train and, uh, you know, trying really hard to get back to Thailand, which is, um, I think, ultimately the main goal and focus. Um, I really just want to go back to Thailand and train and fight for like a year. Um, not like a year, a year, <laughs> if not more. Um, uh, it's difficult. It's going to require a lot of planning, um, a lot of financing. Uh, it's not super expensive to live in Thailand. It's actually incredibly cheap to live in Thailand. Um, it's expensive because I have um, payments that need to be made here, and I'm not going to be making money <laughs> In Thailand so I have to save up for it which is um, very difficult uh, student loans are a little rough um, but so I'm training um, I'm taking a little bit of time off from fighting which is a true statement and a false statement um, it's true because currently I don't have any fights lined up um, and I'm using the time allowed when you don't have the pressure of a fight coming up to to really work on um, some things that kind of, I guess, get pushed a little bit to the side when you're preparing for a fight, um, just because there are priorities. Um, but it's also a false statement because I'm putting my name out for fights. You know, I'll, I'll take a fight if one comes along. Um, it's becoming a little bit more difficult to find fights. Um, I had a, a really lucky year in uh, being able to fight pretty consistently uh, with no more than, you know, two months between fights for a while there. Um, I would love to fight again. I love fighting. Um, and I, I definitely miss it when I'm not doing it. Um, it's a great motivator. But I think more than anything, what it is for me is um, it's practice. You know, it's, it's part of training. And I love doing it. Um, my second mother, who is the mother of my best friend growing up, and she, you know, kind of takes over in areas of uh, raising me and advising me that my own mom uh, <laughs> doesn't do and vice versa um, was asking me how long one can fight kind of in a I guess you know broad how old can you be how long can your body take it type of thing um, and I thought it was a curious question because how long can you love something you know like I'll, I'll fight as long as my body lets me I'll fight as long as I'm physically financially able to do it, um, which I hope is a really, really long time. I just, I love doing it. It's like, how long are you going to paint or something? Um, and, uh, I've been training with Master K and he's about to turn 73 on Sunday. And, um, 73 years old, he's still, if you could find a 73 year old to fight Master K, <laughs> he would totally fight. Um, so, you know, how long can you fight and how long does the fight stay in you, I think, are kind of, I don't know, interesting questions. Um, but so I'm, my training right now is kind of interesting. I'm, I'm um, not training in the city so much uh, at all. Um, and so I'm kind of taking a break from that. It was uh, very time consuming, um, very difficult. It's, it's amazing that training was taking about seven hours out of my day but only two of them were actually training because it takes so much time to get to the train, be on the train, walk from the train. Like all the commuting was exhausting. So at the end of the day, I was really, really tired as if I'd been training for seven hours, but really I'd been training for two hours and getting to training for five hours, which is rough. Um, and it's uh, financially not something I can do anymore. It's um, very expensive uh, just you know being able to pay for the tickets and the training itself and all these different things but then on top of it um, if you're spending seven hours out of your day getting down uh, for training you really can't be working on that day either 
Um, so I'm rearranging things. Um, happily, I'm training with Master K more uh, because I'm able to do so, which makes me very happy. Anytime I'm around Master K, I'm very happy. Um, and we've been working on things that I think are incredibly important. Um, my t past 10 fights have really taught me how to fight. Um, I don't fight well, I don't fight pretty, uh, but being able to handle that kind of pressure and be aggressive and composed, I think, is something that takes a lot of time and a lot of training. Um, and because my particular type of training doesn't involve a lot of that, I don't have a lot of pressure in my training. Um, a lot of times because I'm on a bag and the bag doesn't hit you back. Um, sparring is really where you get most of that pressure. And um, I'm, again, still really new to sparring. I don't get as much sparring as a lot of people who are really adroit fighters. Um, and so uh, I'm definitely able to handle pressure with Master K a lot better. And I think because of that, he's able and more willing to give it to me. Um, we've been in, you know, quasi sparring training together uh, where he's hitting me pretty hard. <laughs> uh, and it's cool, it's good, it feels good. And it gets me to hit him back harder, which makes him so happy. He really likes being hit because um, I think it like wakes him up a little bit. Uh, it just feels good. Um, so that's been fun. And then um, I've also been able to train a little bit with Gensok, who is a um, retired Thai fighter who's amazing. Um, Lumpini champion, uh, two times uh, nominated as, or not nominated, but won as fighter of the year in Thailand, which is just a huge honor. And when you watch him, he's just amazing. It's like an alien or something, how on balance and beautiful he looks when he's doing his Muay Thai. It's, um, it's very different from Master K. Their styles are not similar, um, but they're both just shockingly beautiful and they complement each other really, really well. Um, so that's been really nice working with both of them. Um, I'm still trying to get some boxing in. Um, that's been a little difficult because the training is far away. Um, and basically I just want to get back to the roots of what I love so much about Muay Thai, which is this beautiful and strong technique that when you see it, you know what you're looking at. Like there is a very distinct look and aesthetic to Muay Thai that everyone has a different Muay Thai in the way that everyone who dances ballet has a particular style. Um, you know, you know Barishnikov when you see him from a distance. Um, but you know it's ballet when you see it, and you know Muay Thai when you see it. And when I'm fighting, you don't see it. <laughs> so um, I, I'm really happy to be working on these very fundamental, basic things that will get me closer to where I want to be. Um, I've been working a lot on my kick, uh, which any of you who have been following me for a while know that I've been working on my kick for a really long time. And I think you always work on your kick. Um, Muay Thai is cool in that it's not katas or anything like this. So basically you learn a few things and you're kind of ready to go. It's very um, effective and practical, I guess. Um, but that said, Master K is 73 years old and he still works on making his right kick as strong as his left kick. You know, it's something that doesn't end. It's something that evolves and there's no one kick to Muay Thai. There are multiple kicks and you kind of learn to understand when to use which ones and all these different things. It's, it's beautiful. Um, and I'm, I'm just trying to get my kick to be, I guess, more powerful and more, um, ready, I guess. I don't kick a lot in fights and I think it's cause I'm off balance and, um, apparently I'm, I'm turning over my hip a little bit too much. So I'm just not able to have it at my disposal. Um, but training it right now and being able to work on that and get it more, I guess, accessible, um, feels really good. And it feels like Muay Thai <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to need it for Thailand. Um, so that's kind of the long winding, somewhat abstract update, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm trying to put up videos of the things that, that Master K and I are working on because they're things that, you know, 
you should learn because they're great and um he's such an amazing person to learn them from uh i don't know hopefully you'll be able to see a difference uh hopefully the next time i step in the ring it's it's gonna look really different and um i'm gonna be able to express something on purpose uh i think that i express a lot of who i am when i go in and fight but being able to make a choice about that expression and make a statement in that expression um i think that would be a really beautiful thing and hopefully i'll be able to do that um i know i will eventually uh but hopefully it's coming soon so thank you guys for watching and uh i don't know talk to you hopefully sooner <laughs>